Yeah, Paige, this was the defense's 11th witness now to call in this penalty phase of the trial. Today's witness is a DHS worker from California, which is where Zachary Hawley and his family lived for many years. Of course, on Wednesday of this week, the jury did convict Zachary Hawley of rape, residential burglary, kidnapping, and capital murder for the death of Jersey Bridgman in 2012. Now, his defense team is just trying to save him from the death penalty. Today's witness fit into the defense's strategy of showing the jury that Holly had an abusive and neglectful upbringing. Holly was born in Rogers but lived in Bakersfield, California for years. The DHS worker today said, quote, the system is broken and the family and Zachary fell through the cracks. She was addressing the 15 referrals and investigations into claims of neglect, physical and sexual abuse against a young Zachary Holly. Only once was he removed from the home and he was quickly returned. The DHS worker says in her opinion now, she and other Kern County social workers missed the bigger picture and failed to take appropriate action to protect Zachary Holly from the abuse that he lived with. Now, a lot of those claims of abuse were that uh, they came from Zachary's mom. And in fact, Ginger Simmons, his mom, actually stopped me in the hallway today and said that she was remorseful for her life. She said that addiction is a powerful thing. She also said that this entire situation has left her heartbroken. So here's what's coming up next. Once the defense is finished calling its witnesses, both sides are going to present their closing arguments in this penalty phase of the case to the jury. And then the jury will decide between life in prison without parole for Holly or the death penalty. Reporting live here in Bentonville, I'm Kelly Johnson, 4029 News. All right, Kelly. And court will be closed on Monday for the holidays, so Holly's trial will resume on Tuesday.